Come on, she put him in the dryer again. Oh, hello! Boys and girls, welcome to another video. Ignore that. Some, some other time. We have something different again today. We're only taking it apart. And I have no clue what's inside. All I know is it's stuck in gear. And this is it. This is a 19... 67 transmission from a Rhydon lawnmower. I believe it's a Cub Cadet, maybe. I'm supposed to have a manual for this. It is from 67. That makes it, what, 53 years. 53 years this thing lasted with no issues. I don't see any evidence that it's been apart before. As you can see, I've drained the oil. Now, I, I can see, you probably won't be able to, metal particles everywhere. This big chunk. Well, that's not chunk, but, uh, you know, a lot of uh, kind of like greasy old oil mixed with the particles, metal particles. Stuck onto the magnetic plug. So when it was draining out, I could see lines of metal shavings kind of floating everywhere. Doesn't matter what I do, it's in gear at all times. Now it doesn't want to go to whatever gear is this way. I have no idea because I don't have the manual. And this is what I was given. I haven't seen the lawnmower. All right, let's take it apart. So this may be neutral. And this is the problem. Anybody looking for Mustang heads 302, let me know.
these are worn quite a bit So this is the selector, you can see how this gear slides back and forth. Now, I'm no expert on transmissions, but something doesn't look right over here. I don't know if it came apart on me when I was taking it apart or or what happened over here because something looks like something is missing or broken, I should say. So, so far I, all I could find that's odd is this bent piece and you can see that through the opening, through the gear selector opening. Can you see that right here? So I'm gonna go uh, fix this. Here we go, like new. Alright, next day. This is where I'm at. After about an hour of messing around with this, figured I just I wouldn't even wasn't wouldn't make sense to show you the whole process, but basically two things that I found that were wrong. Nothing is broken miraculously. There's a lot of sludge inside the casing, a lot of buildup in this area here around this big gear and on this cover as well that's the big gear as well here and that's all this just a handful this is what happens when you don't change your oil in your engine too same thing change your oil so i already cleaned this part of the cover these i'm just going to spray with brake cleaner i'm not going to go too crazy on cleaning this these parts just trying to get rid of this old oil buildup, all this sludge. So when the fresh oil goes in, it's uh, it's going to be cleaner for a little longer. So that's all I have left as far as cleaning goes. I'm just going to flip this around and just spray brake cleaner everywhere. And then I'm going to put it back together. And instead of the original gasket, which is gone and it was already leaking, I'm going to use RTV. That's plenty good for me, looking for bigger chunks, but this is pretty good. All right. Not changing any oil seals. I don't have any, probably not even available. This guy goes here.
Okay, the other problem, which took me a bit to figure out, was this, this selector. Now, before, I could not move it with my hands like that. It wasn't possible. I had to knock it on the table to switch a gear. Now, what I did was, you see this hole here? On the other side of the shaft, right in here, there's a spring and then there's a ball, and the ball ends up in these ridges, locks it in place. What I did was I took this little spring out and I cut a piece of it, maybe one-tenth of the whole size of the spring, to make more room for the ball. So the ball is a little bit deeper and it makes it easier for this to move. And that was it. Now, before I cleaned it, I had it all together and I was able to select. It's got four gears. I got the manual. It's got reverse, first, second, and third. I wanna show, I'm going to show you the manual a little bit later. So this guy goes in here, I think. Now this one was fine, I didn't do anything. It's actually easier to move this one than this one after the fix. Oh yeah. I'm not going to play with the gears now because it's, it's not going to work. The, the cover needs to be on. Okay, I'm not going to put our TV on it now, although it is ready. I'm going to try and test fit this, make sure, make sure all the gears are good. There we go. Okay, so so this down should be first. Okay. Second, third, and reverse. Was, or was this reverse? No. Never mind, this is reverse. It's, I forgot, the lever would be right here, so this is reverse 
So first, second, third, reverse. Okay, we're good. Well, I know some of you may say, oh, what are you doing? You're scratching the surface. Yeah, I am. Maybe. A little bit. Probably not. It's just cast iron. It's not aluminum. But I'm going to use our TV, so it doesn't really matter. So finger tight for now and then I'm going to come back after an hour maybe and tighten these down to let's say maybe 8 foot pounds of torque, maybe less. We'll see. Probably reuse this gasket. Nah, maybe not. Yeah, so third and second here, That's that, that was the spring problem because these gears are actually perfect when you switch them. This one, the one that I didn't take apart, is a little too soft. See, not even the click doesn't make that click anymore. You gotta have the click. Check out this manual from 67. I don't know about this. I don't think it's a craftsman or uh, the transmission is what I meant. Page five, six. This is how I knew what the gears are. I'm gonna see the tractor a little later. I'm gonna have the guy bring it to me. Yeah, nothing on the transmission. Looked online for any info, nothing. These are the different attachments. Ground speed, a whopping 3.6 miles in third gear. And this is it. Any of you missing manuals for these? Here are the part numbers. And 
And that's it. Let's see what we're gonna do. Let's start with five. Seems like five is plenty. Alright, I'm going to put the wheels back on, just these washers, wheel, and then this C-clip, and this pulley here. And I'm actually going to put it back on the uh, tractor and then we're going to, we're going to test it out. 60, 66? Yeah. Sixty-six. Give it a little more gas. Second gear. Third gear. You're the real driver now. Whoa! Wheelie! <laughs> Second. Third. Yeah, that's how you break it. <laughs> so yeah, they use pressure. Pressure point. Mm -hmm. Super start. It uses this starter generator. So it charges and you don't see that too often. Huh. I, I think the carburetor needs cleaning. Yeah, mostly. Yeah. The inside's clean though. It's original. It, this is just not original. Crankcase breather here. I had to make modify it. It was looking too much oil out of the crankcase because it's blow by uh -huh. modify a blow by venter and there's the working gearbox yes i nice. bet it'll work better when we get oil in all the way up yeah we only have one bottle in there we need one more oh wheelie popper did you see that wheelie, wheelie popper oh yeah yeah it's third gear of wheelie pop too <laughs> that's those low gear ratios that's why isn't that motor feel like more than a six horse I bet it's got more horsepower than it. It's rated for six? <laughs> what does it say here? Six, oh yeah, that's right. Six horses. But it's more like a 12, today's standards. All right guys, that is it for this one. I hope it's gonna be useful to somebody who still has one of these, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. Having an old uh, lawnmower like this that still works with mostly original parts, almost all of them. Probably 95% of this is still original. And you saw it starts right up and purrs like a kitten.
And I can't believe the transmission works uh, only because I straightened out the little metal piece. It was all bent up and I cut the spring a little bit to make the ball fit a little better. And that was it, that's all I did. I obviously cleaned it and RTV used RTV to uh, seal it up. Alright guys, as always, subscribe, 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 comment, like, dislike. See you soon.